This week, we pulled this. What is going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Weekly Pulls. I'm excited to get into this one. This time we have got uh, some really old cards. Really that's the focus of this one. We've got a lot of stuff from really early on in Magic's history and we're going to start off with the newest one first. But again, I just want to mention before we jump in, all of these cards came from Cardsphere.com. Really great place to buy, sell, and trade Magic cards online. I do recommend checking them out. Their link is in the description below. They're not sponsoring this video. They're not sponsoring this series. I just want to throw them out there as a really good resource for anybody who might be looking to, again, buy, sell, or trade some of your cards. Uh, it's a really great place to go. Uh, and again, if you're looking at collecting specific cards, it's a really perfect place that you can add some cards to your want list, throw some money in, and see what you get, which is how we do this series. So please do go check them out, and thank you again to Cardsphere for making this possible. All right, the first card on the list is, I guess, the most recent of all of them, uh, which is funny because it's all the way back to uh, Urza's Destiny, but it's a really cool card. It's actually Phyrexian Negator. Now, this is the original, original, excuse me, printing of this card. There have been a couple, uh, one I think is a promo and things like that. Uh, and I really like this card. It's a 5-5 for 2 and a black with trample. Whenever it is is dealt damage, sacrifice a permanent for each one damage dealt to it. Uh, but again, it's that 5-5 five, five, for 3 with trample that really sets this apart. As far as a creature goes, it was very strong at the time. I mean, you look at Magic's history, a lot of the creatures, uh, especially in the early days of the game, were not necessarily all that powerful. Uh, you could very easily win the game with like a 3-3 flyer, and that was normal uh, back in that time. Now, this kind of set a stage for some really, really powerful creatures, but again, it plays to that classic black effect where essentially, yeah, you do get a really powerful 5-5 for 3 mana with Trample, but it's got a pretty huge drawback as well. Uh, that being said, it's still a really cool card. It's a fun one to play with as well. Uh, haven't gotten a lot of experience with it, but every once in a while I like to try it out in a, in a little casual kitchen table deck, and it's really fun. So uh, I thought I'd pick up the original printing. I do have some of the promo versions, but I don't have this one. Uh, so this is the first of hopefully the four uh, that I can get uh, off of card sphere. So awesome first pick. All right, the next card that we got on the list for today is actually back to revised, uh, and it is actually a playset of Goblin King. Uh, Goblin King is a really awesome card, obviously works super well in the Goblin deck. Uh, it's a 2-2 two, two for 1 and 2 red. All Goblins in play gain Mountain Walk and plus 1 plus 1 while this card remains in play, making it a really, really powerful Lord for your Goblin deck. Uh, this features obviously the original artwork, which is interesting to say the least, uh, but it's really cool to get that original feel uh, and that original artwork back on a card. Now, Revised obviously has that white border. I know a lot of people don't love that quite as much. I'll be honest, it doesn't really bother me. I kind of like the white border cards. I know some people are on the fence about it though. So uh, for me, I don't mind. I think it's a nice way to get cards that still feature that old artwork, but you don't have to spend a fortune to do so. Uh, and, and I think that that's worth it. I think it makes it more fun uh, to, to just be able to play the cards. Now, as far as Goblin King goes, uh, I did, like I said, get a full play set of them at $2.52 a piece. They're sitting at right about $4.34 a piece, uh, which is a pretty good return, to be honest. I mean, it's not, you know, an amazing break the bank kind of card, but it's really fun to be able to pick these up. And so I'm really stoked about this one. Happy I got a full play set all in one week for this one. Next up, and speaking of white border cards, we actually have uh, Blood Moon uh, from Chronicles. Now, I only did get one of these, uh, and again, featuring that original artwork, it's not the black border dark version, but uh, Chronicles was a really interesting time in Magic's history. Because of Chronicles, we, we now have things like the reserve list and stuff like that, because uh, they the essential idea behind Chronicles was that uh, we, we would kind of Get the, get the cards in the hands of the players that needed them and make cards a little bit more accessible by reprinting a lot of them. And so uh, if you look at the set list for Chronicles, it's just a lot of reprints from a variety of sets, Legends, all the way back to Revised, things like that. Uh, and and I think that's cool. Like, I, I like the accessibility. I think it's really important to have that accessibility, understanding that there is a secondhand collector's market that you're kind of trading off there. And so 
Uh, what this card represents is a really interesting time period in Magic's history, if nothing else. Uh, and again, featuring that original artwork from the Dark is really cool. Uh, I do hope to get my hands on some actual Dark Blood Moons at some point, but uh, I just thought this was a nice way to pick this up. Uh, I think I've got another one coming actually this coming week, so I'm, I'm excited to get another one in. We won't put it on the list again, but uh, just a really cool card. Uh, as far as this one goes, I did spend $9.88 for this Chronicles Blood Moon. Uh, at the time, the price was sitting at about $12.61. Uh, so, you know, a couple bucks there return if need be, but overall just a really fun card. Chronicles is a great way to get your hands on some of those older cards without breaking the bank, uh, and so I think it's a cool one to pick up. Alright, now moving to the next couple cards here. The last three are actually full-on old-school Black Border cards that are, I think, really interesting. Uh, not A couple of them aren't necessarily all that good. In fact, I think all of them aren't technically that good, but uh, our first one on the list is from the dark. It is Niel Sylvan. Uh, very interesting card here, and uh, if nothing else, I just think this is a cool rare to pick up. I didn't really have a, a spot I wanted to put this card, I just thought it was really interesting, and I, for those of you who don't know, the way that I kind of like to, to put cards on my want list is I go to Scryfall, I hit random until I get a, a card that I either don't have that I really want, or a card that I need to finish out a playset for, or whatever, uh, and as I find those, I just kind of add them over to my want list on Card Sphere, and that's actually how I found this card. I thought it was a, a really interesting one, I'd never actually seen it before. The artwork is a little creepy, if nothing else, but um, um, it kind of goes to show how far creatures have come in such a, a span of time that, uh, you know, from the dark all the way to today. Um, if you look at this, it's a 2-2 two, it's, it's two -two for 3 green mana, which is a huge restriction <laughs> for a 2-2. Two -two. Uh, however, I mean, to, to make it a little better, you can pay 4 green and tap it and regenerate it. Man, what a powerful creature that is. Uh, it's just interesting. I think it's fun to look at these old cards. I think it's fun to collect old stuff as well. Uh, and so this just kind of came up in my random search. This isn't a super spectacular card by any means. It just kind of featured some really interesting things uh, that I thought would be fun to show off here. So uh, I like this card. I'm excited I got a couple of them in. I did pay $3.17 for them. They're sitting at right about $4 right now. Not a huge return by any means. I just think it's a really interesting card from, again, the original Dark series. All right, rounding out the last two here, we're actually looking at some Legends cards, Original Legends, which is really cool. Uh, no reprints here. We've got Elder Landworm as our first one. Ooh, that is very bright. Uh, Elder Landworm is a 5-5 five five for four and three white. Uh, yeah. Uh, with Trample, uh, and it can't attack until it's been assigned as a blocker. So until you've blocked with it once, you can't even attack with it. Uh, again, a great demonstration of how far creatures have come in such a uh, in, in a period of time that has gone by. So uh, I think it's really interesting to look at things like that again. When you go back to these old creatures, especially the creatures, uh, you can really see how far the power level of everything has come. Uh, and this is just a shining example of that. I think this is a really interesting card. Again, not one that I necessarily had like in my head as I really want this card but it did come up on scryfall and i was like oh that's a really interesting kind of historical piece i'd love to get that uh really happy to get the original legends version i absolutely love it uh paid about 7.59 for it and it's actually sitting at nine dollars and 23 cents which is kind of astounding when you think about how not good this card is uh but you know it's older uh obviously less print runs things like that and so you do get a nice little value chain um i just absolutely love these things i, I think it's fun to be able to pull these old school cards and talk about them here so really excited to have this one all right and the the last card on our list for today again another legends card and again another example of how far creatures have come we have got uh roga of ker keep uh, which I hope I'm saying correctly. Uh, only got one of these. Um, it's a legend. It's a 5-5 five five for two, two black and two red. Great. Uh, all your Cabalds of Kirkheap gain plus two, plus two. So it is actually a pretty powerful Lord, uh, but pay three red during your upkeep uh, or uh, Roga and all Cabalds of Carol Keep become tapped and come under the opponent's control. 
so it's got a pretty significant downside. <laughs> uh, all that to say, though, still a really interesting card. I mean, we're talking about all these old pieces in this episode because we just got so many in this time. Uh, and it's just really fun to, to be able to see progressively how things have changed. This is a great example of what was considered a huge, powerful legend at the time, with a pretty good effect. I mean, to be fair, the first part of that effect is quite good, um, but it's not really all that good anymore. Like, we, we see it and it just has progressed so far beyond that, that a card like this just kind of becomes irrelevant. However, when you look at the value of a card like this, which is pretty amazing because again, limited print run and all that stuff, sure, but it's not useful necessarily. Uh, but still, if we're looking at what we paid, we paid uh, $34 for this, which is kind of insane considering where the value is. Uh, it, it just does not make sense to be honest to me. Uh, it looks like the value of it actually is sitting right around $32 now because uh, I, I pulled this value list like a little bit after I paid for it. So I paid a lower percentage, but we got, you know, we lost a little bit on it, but you know, it's fine. I think it's cool to pick up these really cool old Legends cards, old Dark cards, old Chronicles even, these reprints, and just look at how far things have come from since that time. Uh, it's really interesting. I still think this is a cool one to pick up because, again, the value's there. It's going to hold around that. Uh, for quite a while, I would imagine, and it's just fun. It's fun to see what kinds of things you can get. I love collecting these older cards. I think it's such a fun part of collecting, uh, and so I'm excited to, to throw them in the binders behind me here and, and fill out some things, but uh, overall, a really exciting time, a really cool card. Excited to have one of these in my collection. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of Weekly Pulls. Again, a lot of old cards in this one, but a lot of really fun history that we get to talk through, and I think that's what makes this series so fun, is you never really know what we're gonna pull. Uh, also, uh, do wanna mention Cardsphere again. Thank you so much, a really great platform. Please do go check them out. They're really a great group of people, and they have a really good thing for us uh, as a resource to be able to pick up cards or, buy, or sell cards, excuse me, as needed. I think it's a really fantastic source of uh, just an awesome, an awesome pillar in the community. So please do go check them out. They're fantastic. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you appreciate it. Make sure to share your most recent polls down below so we can talk about them in the comment section. But thanks guys. I'll see you in the next episode of Weekly Polls.